In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to control individually addressable LED strip using Clipper. So when your printer is doing certain actions, you can make your printer or your lights do certain things. Um, you're going to need an ESP32, some wiring, some soldering skills, um, LED strip, and just some, uh, some time and effort. Oh, and some hot glue too, because the adhesive that comes with the strip is pretty awful. But yeah, so let's get to it. So I printed this box of ESP32. It's powered by a USB like, uh, phone charger. I have some quick disconnects on the wires so that I can disconnect it from the printer to do maintenance. That's very important. Um, there's also an extra line right there, that green wire. That's, that's an extra data line that goes to the tool head so I can have two different sets of... Uh, presets, I guess, if you want to call it, so I can do multiple strips at once. Um, that's going to be in a different video, it's a little bit more advanced. But, it's pretty simple, you just attach the LED strip to the lid, you glue it with hot glue, dab it in a few spots, don't cover the whole thing in hot glue. But the strip adhesive is uh, just absolutely garbage, and if you rely on it, what's going to happen is it's going to fall off in your printer while it's printing, and it's going to get jammed up. You don't want that. I, it didn't happen to me because I foreseen it happening, and I use my brain. So critical thinking ability skills are always important, especially when you're in a hobby such as this. Uh, opinions are like assholes, and everyone's got one. So setting up WLED on an ESP32 uh, is not going to be covered in this video. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to tell you where to wire up and how to wire or solder. Uh, that's for you to figure out. It's pretty simple. I could do another video if I, if it's requested. I could do a video on setting up an ESP32. I have I have a project coming up. I gotta put together that involves one. So maybe I'll do it then. Um, it's really simple. Once you have WLED running on an ESP32 and you wire it up to your controller, you'll have you know your phone where it's got all your presets. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to save presets. So I have one finished, one for uh, on, off, print. So these different presets are what's going to change based on the events of what your printer's doing. So if you go through and you follow this guide, basically you have to edit a few uh, configs, like for example, Moonraker. So let's do that. You go to, this is going to also involve having a rooted printer. Um, don't do it if you're not experienced stick to the reality workflow um, once you you know want to tinker with things then consider it but you can you can break things it can it can get wonky it, it takes it's more effort more skill more more risk but you get better rewards so anyways once you uh you gotta go into your configuration so a moonraker.config so we have to add the chamber, basically. We have to add the strip. We have to tell it that it's there so it can connect to it. So I did that right here. It's really simple. I have the thing called chamber because that's the chamber. It doesn't really matter. So save and, you know, restart or whatever you fancy. That's simple. Also, you're going to want to put the address of your uh, ESP32. For, when, for example, on this, if I go here... It'll say right there. It'll, it'll say the IP that you want. And bam. That's that's the IP you put in. And then, uh... Okay, now we need to... See, this part I skipped. So, that, so, so this part I skipped. I put the triggers for the lights in Orca. Um, for the machine G-code start. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But what this is trying to tell you is... You know, for example, when the heat, the bed is heating, it'll turn, you know, it'll change the LED heating. It'll change the LEDs to heat mode, essentially. Maybe you'll have it flashing red or something, I don't know, whatever you want it to be. Um, I didn't do that in, in this config. I didn't do that at all in these macros. I did that in the Orca Slicer printer profile machine G-code, where the start and end print. Um, you can also do other triggers, but this is where I did them. So now it wants to go into printer.config. This is where it's telling you to like edit the start and stop stuff at. 
but if I scroll down, scroll, 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 so scroll down. Uh, right here. This is important. This macro right here. W let on. This is the macro that you want uh, when your printer turns on, basically. So it kind of tells it to like get ready. I, I don't, I don't code. I don't pretend to code, so I'm not going to explain what this does. Um, other than you, you want this right here to say chamber or whatever else you put in the Moonraker.config uh, entry. So if you named it butt sniffer, you'd put butt sniffer here. Um, I I did chamber because that was just logical to me. And then you're gonna have to have all the presets in this uh, as well. So I have the LED heating preset G code. It's preset number five. I have an LED mesh G code that changes when it's meshing. That's six. Uh, LED printing. That's three. Finished four. So what you see is these are macros that get triggered right here. Um, these are these are where they're made essentially. And then that's it for the. Uh, Printer.config. And then you go to the machine G code right here, and this is where the triggers are going to be. So when you. So the start G code, I have W LED on, and then W. or LED printing. And then machine NG code, I have LED finished. And that's pretty much it. You can put other triggers wherever else you want. You can put them in macros. You can, you can do whatever, get creative. Um, this is just what I have right now. It's pretty simple. Um, but it works. And that's all you need to do. And then uh, save everything. Physically restart your printer. Like turn it off on the back. Turn it back on. Um, make sure you save all your configs and everything. Backup stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it. And when you go to print, it'll change the lights based on what it, you told it to do. It's that simple. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Um, all links required will be in the description below. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Um, Subscribe if you want. Do what you want. You're an adult. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I appreciate you. And lastly, uh, I kind of involve my 3D printer on my Twitch channel quite a bit. So uh, if you have any questions and want to speak with me directly, that's a great way to do so. Twitch.tv slash Blairway. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.